Domestic grinder with a 56mm flat burr blade. Commercial grinder with a 63mm conical blade. Specialty commercial grinder with a 75mm flat burr blade. Deli grinder with a 98mm flat burr blade. What does that all mean? Hang about and I'll tell you all you need to know about grinder blades. Welcome back guys to the Artisti YouTube channel. Uh, today we're talking about grinder blades. So we have a whole range of different blades in front of me here from domestic to commercial, flat burr and conical. So hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a better understanding of what's going to suit your needs uh, either at home or commercially and is it going to be the right grinder um, blade type for your taste profile because there are some really significant differences. To get down to the basics, I'm um, just going to show you what a flat burr grinder is. Um, so flat burr basically have two donut style um, discs essentially, and they sit on top of each other and they are adjusted by a collar. And so as this one comes down from the top, the beans are going to fall through the hole in the middle and it's going to be like your old Gravitron ride where the beans will actually go in through the main hole and exit out the side. So the further these are apart, the bigger the grind is going to be, and the closer, the finer it's going to be. And you can see here, they are actually shaped on a nice angle and some pretty sharp teeth there to grind the blade. So that's your typical flat burr grinder. When we talk conical, um, this isn't a new product. It's been around for a while. Um, many old um, timber box, old hand grinders would have them. Uh, a lot of spice grinders um, or salt and pepper grinders have conical blades. They're a little bit different. So um, essentially you've got an outer ring um, which is raised and lowered on top of a cone. So you can see that the blade shape is a little bit different and the reverse is on the outside of this donut if we call it that. Um, and as they go closer together essentially they're going to grind from a coarse grind at the top and obviously shoot out fine down the bottom. So they're the two technology differences. Um, and what have we had over time and why have we changed? And I think it's really come a bit full circle um, from the demand of the cafes. So when we look at quality versus speed, we really made a big shift. And then we went back to quality again. So we're actually coming back to the original. Um, and that's been forced from flavor. So what does a flat burr give us? Um, my summary is it's going to give us a cleaner, crisper, um, bring out a little bit more acidity into your coffee. Um, the issues with a flat burr are that there's more contact time. As this blade spins, typically they're actually faster. The revolutions, um, the RPMs of the motors are a lot faster to run a flat burr um, uh, grinder blade but essentially you've got more contact time which actually creates more friction which can actually also give more heat to a bean before you even go and add hot water to it. So we started out with this concept and the flat burrs have been around for a long time and your small domestic grinders were using something like a 50 or a 54 mil tiny little blade. So you can imagine that when you go to make your one cup of coffee it might actually take you um, 15 or more seconds to grind off your, your 20 grams of coffee. So that was okay at home, but when we went into the cafes and you know, 15 years ago, the volumes of coffee was just going up and up to 10 or even 15 kilos a day in a cafe where it used to be two or three, um, we needed to be able to handle that heat. So in time, we've gone up to different sizes, up to something like a 64 mil, um, we've got up to 74 and even 84 mil and you can't even get much larger ones like in the deli grinders we mentioned earlier, which are 98 mil. So they've got a much bigger surface area allowing us to grind more coffee a bit quicker. The industry really shifted when we went from manual dosing style grinders to an electric dose button um, grinder. And you'll see that on a lot of our videos where you basically push a button and it grinds for a certain amount of time, giving us the exact dose that we're after of ground coffee. So we started to push some really long times with these flat burrs. 
So a 64 mil flat burr grinder was quite common for a while and that would give you 20 grams uh, probably in about 10 to 12 seconds. Um, I haven't used one for a while, so don't quote me on that, but they're definitely up there in time. We then shifted with, um, I guess, a brand that's quite commonly known, uh, Mazza. Um, they had a Rover Coney and, um, uh, sorry, a Rover and a Coney. Essentially, they had two different size conical burrs in them. So they've got their 63 mil, which is this one, and they've got a 68 as well. The amazing thing about these grinders is that with a 63 mil blade, you could get 20 grams in about seven seconds. And with a 68 mil, you could get below four seconds. So we've gone to like half or 20% even um, of the time we were getting out of flat burrs. So cafes could just pump out more and more coffee so much quicker. And that was a real advantage. You know, if you've got um, two cafes side by side and, and one's getting their coffees out quicker, they're going to make more money per hour. So this was definitely a flavor that even us in our business, we've um, recommended this, this shift. But what happened was is the motors in these um, grinders are a bit slower, which is fine. So they were lessening the heat, but the quality of the grind coming through the conical just wasn't um, as consistent as we would like. There's multiple grades of grind size when you actually put it under a microscope from what we might call boulders and rocks down to fines and then down to super fines. So there is a, is a quite a big scale um, that you can look at, check it out. You can get some sieves and even sieve them through this whole process if you so wish. So with the speed came um, a different flavor profile to the bean. It was giving us a bit more body and a bit more depth and not as much acidity in a conical blade. As specialty coffee came to rise and everyone was looking for single origins and these lighter roasts and really trying to get these really unique flavors out of coffee, the tendency went back towards flat burr grinders to give us that cleaner cup, the beautiful acidity that we're looking for, and just overall crispness and, and cleanliness in a cup when we're spending a huge amount on a quality bean. We really want to taste what's happening. So we're now in that stage where we are looking at using um, like Amphim SP2 grinders, which this is the blades here. They're a 74 mil titanium coated um, blade. So essentially they'll keep their edge really well. They're gonna disperse the heat really well. Um, and that's what we're using now for our main blends. In our single origins, we're utilizing the EK grinder, which is the 98 mil blade. So it's a very large blade. We can grind a kilo of coffee through that for a retail customer or we can pop multiple single origins or decaf in with a pre-weighed amount and it's not gonna hold any grind retention. So that's a really cool um, grinder, but it's not gonna work at home. It, it does a very specific job for a cafe environment. So we don't wanna be going and buying this massive blade set um, and spending a lot of money, up to four or $5,000 for one of these grinders. So some technology in this field has really changed and getting a smaller set of blades, say a 64 mil with a ceramic um, coating on them uh, has helped us with the heat that we had issues with in the past. And if we're happy with the time it takes to grind off um, that 20 grams, we're gonna get the best of both worlds by having that cleaner, crisper taste, a longer time, but not the heat that essentially was being applied to that bean when we ground it. So some pretty cool technology about to go all the way across to a totally different product and sort of come back to some amazing, you know, different coatings on beans, sorry, amazing different coatings on blades to help us with heat issues. This was um, a set of blades, which are an 84 mil blade from a Mazza Major. And as much as this was a grinder that um, kind of fell in the gaps a little bit because of the movement to the Mazza um, Coney grinders for time, this is actually still an amazing grinder. You've got a big set of flat burrs. You've got um, obviously that cleanliness, the crispness that's gonna come through. You've got some decent speed because they are such a big blade. Um, I think it's a very good grinder, to be honest, for the value that you pay. You know, around that two, $2,000 mark for an electronically dosed grinder, that's a cracker for a cafe. So if you don't wanna go crazy and spend four grand on amazing blades in big grinders or five grand, 
or if you're not wanting that more body style coffee that a, a conical um, grind is going to give you, um, you know, there's one that sits right in the middle there quite nicely. Um, if you're looking in the home market, you know, you can still stick with your, your 54 mil style blade, but maybe look at buying an aftermarket set of blades that will have some sort of coating on them to help with the heat. Or if you like a body style coffee, definitely get yourself a, a conical. It's going to grind it quickly. It's going to give you some really nice body um, and just give you that morning cup of coffee that you're, you're probably searching for. Bold and, and tastes like you've had that big smack in the face ready to start the day. So I hope that's given you a bit of information on different blades and how they suit different environments. Now, if you're not prepared to go out and spend maybe $400 on a home grinder that's going to be this kind of blade up to you know, four, five thousand dollars in your cafe, um, you're going to have to make an investment of some sort. I just want you to get away from buying pre-ground beans that come from the supermarket or your local roaster because they're not going to be grinding it to the specific need or the fineness that you need for your particular device. Whether that's pour over or an espresso machine, they're taking a guess. So ideally get out there and just buy yourself a little hand grinder. They're from 50 bucks, get them anywhere online or your local uh, coffee roaster. And nowadays they've actually got some ceramic um, conical burrs in them, really easy to adjust. And that's gonna get you tasting fresh ground coffee wherever you're enjoying it. Once you've sort of dialed in your machines and you've had that for a while, you'll appreciate the taste and then you'll understand why someone would go and spend $1,000, maybe $1,500 on a really good home machine or why you see those cafes down the street that have an amazing grinder that's worth four or five grand. And when you buy that cup, you really appreciate the taste that you've just paid for. So thanks very much for watching guys. Have an awesome day. Catch you again soon.